For many school kids, the most dreaded word in the English language is homework. But Elaine Keanu tells us a revolution is underway in the classroom and traditional ideas about homework are being turned upside down. Reduce the toy four divided by 12. It's 7 p.m. on a school night, and Laurente Welton is at home and in geometry class. So this is a periodic table. He's part of a new way of learning called the flipped classroom. He listens to lectures at home. Am I doing something wrong? So. And when he goes to school, he does what's traditionally known as homework. The teacher to me, he didn't get up and say, here's a worksheet. This is how you do it on the board. Do it. He said, here's an activity. Here's a video to help you get along with it. We're all going to talk about it. And we're going to solve any questions or problems that we have. My players could watch this over and over and over. Principal Greg Green came up with the idea while recording videos for his son's baseball team. He posted them online and the kids watched the videos at home, leaving more time for hands-on work at practices. I was increasing their productivity and they're becoming more knowledgeable and they're actually watching the videos and I said, well, as a principal, in case we did this in math or science or social studies. There are 525 students in the flipped school at Clintondale, where flipping made financial sense. It cost little to nothing to implement. Teachers either assign videos from free educational websites or record their own lessons. And when you cross multiply 10 and 3, you get 30. Well, we're covering more material than we have in past years. Um, our achievements are higher. And multiply by pi. Good. Thomas Fiore has been teaching here for 12 years. It's given me an opportunity to be more aware of where my students are and how I can help them better. To me, it felt like the teachers were starting to care more, and it kind of made me break out of my shell, so to speak. So far, 300 educators from five continents have visited Clintondale to see why the flipped classroom works. Graduation rates have gone from 80 to 90 percent in the past three years. The failure rate has dropped from 35 percent to 10 percent, and college enrollment rates have jumped 17 percent. Laurente is among those heading to college. What is that like for you? That's a game changer for me. I mean, growing from Detroit, you know, not a lot of people see a way out. Clendale gave me my way out. We remember that valence electrons. It's been the pathway to pursue his dream of becoming an optometrist. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Clinton Township, Michigan.